Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to this show of exclamation point uptime, pure gaming tunes and news, no cheat codes required. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in this evening. A special thank you to everyone who tuned in last week and is returning this week. And to those of you who are tuning in for the first time tonight, welcome. So for those of you who don't know, um, this exclamation point uptime is a show where I play soundtracks from various video games. I'm also going to be throwing in some news, other fun bits, so I encourage you to sit back and relax as we jump into tonight's show. So, tonight we're talking about my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite game, Hollow Knight. Now, for those unfamiliar with the game, here's a quick rundown. Hollow Knight is a 2017 Metroidvania video game made by Team Cherry. Metroidvania means, like, platformer, for those who, like don't know it's like a platformer think like you're just jumping around a lot essentially in the game you play as the knight a nameless insectoid warrior who explores hollow nest hollow nest is a fallen kingdom plagued by a supernatural disease known as the infection the game is set in many diverse locations featuring both friendly and hostile insectoid creatures there are also bosses lots and lots of bosses so if you like boss crawlers this is for you um you also have the opportunity to unlock new abilities as you explore each location and there is lots and i mean lots of lore so if you're in a lore and you love like deep diving into like the iceberg of lore this is a great game for you um those were the um beginning portions of the game um that was both the title card and basically the tutorial um where you meet some of the main main characters and by that i mean you enter the town of dirtmouth which has no characters it is an empty town you you know you're you're in this town that that has clearly been ravaged by the infection and you are the knight and you're trying to piece together what happened and hopefully put an end to the infection for good so without further ado we're going to move on to crossroads and false knight enjoy
was the um, Crossroads and False Knight. Those are the two, I'd say, like, introductory songs into the game. The first location that you're really going to come across in Hollow Knight is Crossroads, and the music really reflects this, like, big empty space like you get there there's a couple of enemies that you're gonna fight there's there's some like flies or whatever but there's really not a whole lot of stuff and that's because like i said earlier this infection has ravaged the kingdom there is no one left and the music is very reflective of that until you get to the false night now this is like the drama this is the first bit of life you get like exciting music even the build-up is big um and in the in the game the false night falls from the ceiling before he attacks you and i love how the piano is very reflective of, of like as it kind of like flies around right at the beginning you feel that build-up you feel that build-up and then boom there he is right there attacking you and you're in the you're in that boss fight um, I, I love I love the piano in this um, in uh, False Night so good really incredible um, this whole soundtrack is just wonderful so um, expect lots of um, review of the uh, music itself um, but before we get into our next selection of music I actually want to talk about the sponsor of today's episode this episode of exclamation point uptime is sponsored by District Debrief. District Debrief is GWTV's satirical sketch comedy talk show. Housing the funniest people at GW, Debrief is guaranteed to be a good time or your money back. District Debrief episodes feature interviews with local GW celebrities, sketches written by members of District Debrief, desk correspondence, in-studio interviews, and a recap of the week's funniest headlines. Debrief meets each week on Monday evenings at 8 o'clock p.m. on the fifth floor of the SMPA building. The next meeting is on Monday, October 2nd, in SMPA room 520. All are welcome. We hope to see you there. If you have any questions, you're encouraged to reach out to executive producer and overlord of, and I quote, the funny, Amelia Magel at districtdebrief at gmail.com. Would you like to sponsor Exclamation Point Uptime? Well, each week I will shout out, as I just did, a GW student organization. You can sponsor Exclamation Point Uptime by submitting the sponsorship form found on the Exclamation Point Uptime uptime website at sites.google.com backslash view backslash uptime dash w r g w or you can go to my instagram account henry scriven young where i have linked um that website throughout my profile there are many different ways um to find um that submission form and as a reminder this is not financially compensated it's more of just like a shout out type of thing to promote student organizations here at gw um as a quick side note the website has been updated since the last show so i'd encourage all of you to take a look and explore the website while we get back to the tunes with green path hornet and reflection
continued. So that was the Green Path, Hornet, and um, Reflection. So um, Green Path, very nature-inspired. The location is very lush with garden, plant enemies. Um, I really love the harp that actually plays in the background of that song because it's very like reminiscent of like a rainbow or like the falling of water just something that kind of moves very very fluidly from one direction to the other or kind of flows very nicely um it still has moments where it calls back to the main title theme which i really really appreciate i like that a lot um i also love how like nature and like plant life the music starts small it starts out really chill, really basic, and then it kind of swells a little bit and swells, and you hit that moment where the music is big, it's beautiful, it's bold, and then it goes back again. It comes becomes smaller and smaller. It's it's in a way it's it's reflective of the circle of life. I don't know if it was intended to be that way, but that at least um, is the way that I picked it up. And and for that reason, it's actually. In my opinion, one of the most underrated soundtracks. People are like, ah, I don't like Green Path. The enemy is annoying and the music's bad. I'm like, okay, yeah, the enemy, enemies are annoying. But I really like, I really like the music. Um, and then that brings us into basically the second boss fight of this game, which is Hornet. Now, Hornet is um, one of the um, friendly NPCs. But first, you need to prove your worth um, as the player character and defeat her in combat. Um, she is arguably the most agile character in the whole game so it makes sense that her music is strings and quick moving instruments and you can just feel her zipping around the stage and that is just really awesome um and then the final one that we just heard there was uh, reflection um and in this portion your character is sitting in a hot spring next to these two like official bugs they've just gotten off of a day's work or whatever they're doing and they're chilling in the hot springs and you sit there and what your character does is he just chills it is like the epitome of relaxation music like that's the kind of music like i could fall asleep to <laughs> um so before we move on to the next portion of music which i'm very very excited about um, I want to quickly note that this game is long and complex. Like I said, there is a ton of lore. There's a ton of hidden quests, fights, characters. So I'm not going to get to everything. I will try not to spoil the game. And so I actually would encourage all of you to play the game yourself, watch a playthrough of the game, or at the very least, pick and choose a couple of songs that you heard here and listen to them again because this soundtrack is truly incredible and the game itself is truly incredible. So without further ado... I want to move on to the Mantis Lords, City of Tears, and Dung Defender. Enjoy.
So that was the Mantis Lords, City of Tears, and Dung Defender. Um, these are three really, really incredibly different um, so, uh, pieces of music. Um, you have the Mantis Lords, which is um, one of the earlier fights, depending on how you play through the game. Um, but basically, they are protecting Deep Nest, which is like the really spooky, like Halloween is coming up, so it's like a very perfect kind of experience if you're ever in the Halloween mood. Um, but basically, they are protecting um, Deep Nest from the player character, and you have to prove yourself by defeating them in combat. Um, they are mantises, man- mantis eye, um, and so they are two, very agile, they throw mantis claws at you that spin around, you have to jump over them, and this fight is really cool because, much like the music, it progresses over time. Each time you defeat one of the mantis lords, you get to fight one additional mantis lord, so one, two, then you fight all, uh, three in the... Um, I believe that's in the um, Gods and Nightmares expansion, where you get to fight all three all at once, and they're called the Sisters of Battle. Um, Again, very awesome, very fun. Then you have a complete tone shift with the City of Tears featuring the incredible vocals of Amelia Jones. Um, This is the City of Tears. It was one of Hollow Nest's once great cities that fell to ruin because of the infection. Um, basically, this city is entrenched in eternal rain. So imagine, you know, you're you're the player character. You're listening to this beautiful, dramatic, melancholy soundtrack as you're walking through buckets of rain, tons and tons of rain. It is like really depressing. It is really sad, because you can imagine what the city once was like, and now it's empty. There's not an insect in sight. Um, And there aren't many instruments playing at once, either. You'll notice that there's piano, which I like to think of as the rain. You have a little violin, which is kind of the wind in the background. You have the vocals, which is perhaps past cries of the citizens. But that's it. You don't have a ton of things going on at once, because there isn't much going on. Now, that is, of course, in contrast to the following song, which is the Dung Defender. Now, the Dung Defender was um, basically one of Hollow Nest's war generals that was defeated and said, Nope, I am out of here. He pieces out, and he goes to live in the sewers, where he defends Dung. Really simple. Um, But this is a very imperial, like combat, there's trumpets, there's drums. I mean, this guy is, you can tell that he should be just decked out in Hollow Nest war medals because this guy is a professional based on the music. Um, You can just tell it has that kind of imperial theme. So, um, before we move on to our next segment of music, I want to touch on some video game news from this past week. So for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, each week I'll go over the week's most recent video game news. So here's what we have from this past week. Cyberpunk 2077 2.0 is done, and it's here to stay. There was a review from Gaming Bolt um, that said the initial review they gave was a mess. Even though people liked the game, they couldn't rate it in a positive way because there were tons of glitches, crashes, problems. The game just did not work and it did not feel complete. But 2.0 has had radical improvements. The open world experience has been updated and the main city, known as Night City, is alive. Crowds are there, NPCs are reacting, there's a whole police system, the skill tree has been overhauled, it's more rewarding, there is easier to level up, it makes you think about how you want to spend your points. Overall, the game is way, way better than before. So if you have a copy of Cyberpunk 2077, maybe boot it up, update it, and play it. And if you don't have a copy, consider getting one, because the game is way better now. Our second news story is chickens. And why are there so many in video games? Well, GameSpot explores why there are so many chickens in games. You see, it all started with a basic game called Chicken, fittingly enough, on the Atari, where you're a chicken collecting falling eggs in a basket, just like in real life. Usually, chickens take place as a more minor element in a game. Animal Crossing, Pokemon, Fables, Skyrim, you name it, there's a chicken in that game. Think about all the games you've ever played, and you'll probably start to notice chickens cropping up here and there. Now, why? 
Well, GameSpot says that they're a test of our morals and ethics. Would we really punt a chicken like happens in Fable, or will we leave them alone to live their domestic lives? Me? I believe it's because, you know, there's a lot of models. Chickens are pretty basic. They're really easy to render and put into a game, and they fit in almost any environment. I mean, you can imagine any older setting to have a chicken of some kind. Um, I believe in the concept of ethics, but I think mostly, as they happen to be, chickens are just filler. So that's it for the news this week. Um, we will be returning um, to the music with um, Crystal Peak. Here we are.
that was Crystal Peak, Decisive Battle, and Radiance. Um, Crystal Peak um, is really the last of the like empty locations I really want to talk about. It is a very ethereal, very empty, very beautiful location. And I think the music perfectly reflects that. Essentially, there are cave miners who have been infected in these caves and essentially serve out the rest of their lives as husks, mining away into walls where they are crushed or, you know, something happens to them, but they're they're not well. And you can hear kind of in the background of the music the echoes of the wind, and it's just very beautiful. I also really love the guitar for two reasons. The first reason is it's super dynamic, um, and it really speaks to the uniqueness of the enemies in this location, and also, it's super metal. Get it? So, the second one is the decisive battle. Um, This is versus the collector, who essentially is, is, is... categorizing and and collecting all of the various bugs in Hollow Nest. He's like, yep, I want one of these and one of these and one of these, and he's trying to... It's unclear, but at least my interpretation is he's trying to save them from the plague and trying to preserve the next generation of Hollow Nest. But it's not going well. He is not collecting all of them. He is honestly killing most of them and things are not well um this is a totally optional boss battle by the way but in my opinion it is a must fight because the music is just so good you'll want to fight him over and over again so you can hear the soundtrack then finally um is radiance now if you thought the soundtrack for the music for this portion sounded a little radiant or a little like like imperial but in a more um godlike way then you'd be right because the radiance is the big bad the final boss now like i said i won't spoil anything but the radiance is the big enemy this creature is made of pure light it is essentially a god form being and the music makes that very 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 clear now as we come up on the last 10 minutes of the show here um i'd like to remind all of you that this episode of exclamation point uptime is sponsored by district debrief if you have questions reach out to executive producer amelia magel at district debrief at gmail.com if you would like to submit a sponsorship for your student org check out the exclamation point uptime website the form is at sites.google.com backslash view backslash uptime dash w r g w i'd like to thank you all for listening in to tonight's episode of exclamation point uptime i'll see everyone next week for pure gaming tunes and news no cheat codes required so as we close out the show here i want to leave you with some of my favorite music from the various dlcs now there have been various dlcs that have been released um essentially they're the gods and nightmares dlc there is a bunch of fun stuff um but the ones i want to play for you specifically are the hive knight which is like a b that's it Uh, the nightmare king which probably has one of the best soundtracks in the game and um if time permits the gods and glory soundtrack which is just beautiful so without further ado enjoy the music and have a great night and or morning
know, just a massive, massive beast. Yeah, he's a big fella. Broadcasting on GWRadio.com. Looks like we got another caller. Caller, go ahead. That That's the whoop. I'm done. I'm done. Straight, straight radio. radio.